Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I recently went to TJ Maxx and bought a couple of things from there that I found that were complete gold and I was just like, yay! It always feels good when you find gold in TJ Maxx. So this is the video where I'm going to be showing what I got, doing first impressions and all the good stuff. If you want to find out what I got in TJ Maxx, you can go ahead and continue watching. You can hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And you can hit the bell button so you know when I come out with another video. So we're gonna get started. Oh Jesus, it's heavy. I love TJ Maxx. Like, it needs to be a like a better TJ Maxx near me. The TJ Maxx I go to is closer to my job, and I work pretty far from my house. So, whenever I'm not working and I really want to go to TJ Maxx, I drive all the way there because the one near me is either always a mess, there's always stuff stolen, or there's nothing ever there. So. If you have a TJ Maxx that's near you or a Marshalls that's near you that you experience the same thing, I'm so sorry because I totally get how you feel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. I got a little wicker basket. Little wicker basket. I know it's not really makeup related, but it totally is for me. So what I'm going to do with this wicker basket is I'm going to organize my lip drawer because my lip drawer is just, Lord, it needs organizing. I mean, it looks kind of organized, but it's just at kind of full capacity. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys how it looks. These are all of my lip products. Um, I have more that I bought today and probably more that I'm getting in the future. And I'm just continuously building up, you know, my lip stuff. So, so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to put the wicker basket organized to the side. And I'm going to organize all of my lippies at the end of the video. By the way, this only costs a buck, $7.99. So, love it. Feels sturdy. On to the next one. This is my Toys R Us, guys. My Toys R Us. Haha. -ha. So, if you follow me on Hush, you already know that I found the Prism palette a while ago. So, I do have one already. So, this is an extra one. Um, I'm not going to swatch this one because most of us know how it looks. But just in case you don't, I will open it and show you. Now, the reason why I'm not going to swatch this one is because I'm going to put this in for June's giveaway. So, you guys are getting like a little sneak peek to June's giveaway. Here we go. Oh, so, so pretty. Anastasia Beverly Hills. She's gorgeous, guys. We're just going to put her away. I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of the shades from my Prism palette so you guys can see, you know, the pigment. Hold on. Woo. Woo. So there we go. She's an amazing palette. I'm not shocked because I have almost every single one of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and put her away. Just gonna wipe this off real quick. By the way, I almost forgot to mention this cost $29 in TJ Maxx. Now I got it for a little bit less because the box was just a little bit damaged. I really did not care if the if the box is a little damaged, it's the inside that counts. So, on to the next one. This is by Pro Fusion. It's called Hypnotic Highlight Palette. I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see it closer. It has six shades. So I'm just going to open her up like so. comes with a good sized mirror. And here are the six shades. I wanted to give this one a shot because I've seen this a few times in uh, TJ Maxx and I just didn't buy it because I was like, eh, I don't really want to get it. I have a lot of, you know, highlighters. But who says you have too many highlighters, right? This is how it looks without the film cover. Let me bring it up closer. Let's swatch a few. Now, honestly, off the eye, they don't look shimmery at all. I want to say the purple one does, but the other ones, not that much. Might be a good thing, but let's see. I'm so used to seeing, like, a palette with, like, shimmer in it when it comes to highlighting. So, I'm going to take a few swatches, and we're going to see. Here we go. Taking this one. Cool. Okay. Let's see. Wow. That is really pretty. Pigment is definitely there. I'm going to take this one right here. Okay. Ooh. Honey. That is gorgeous. That has like a green undertone. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is absolutely beautiful. I love that shade, that middle shade. I'm going to go ahead into this purple shade because I absolutely love, love, love purple. Purple is my favorite color. 
Now I'm not gonna lie guys, this purple one felt just a little bit chalky, but when you blend it out, it doesn't look chalky at all. It looks absolutely beautiful like the other two that I just swatched. All right, I'm gonna do another one. I wanna do this gray one right here. Let's see, ooh, she looks, here we go. Right out of space. Wow, beautiful. I'm gonna take this middle color right here because I kind of fell in love with it. I want to see how she applies. Hmm. Good. Good pack this. Okay, she's on my brush. Let's see. Will she apply with this? Oh. <laughs> I hope you guys can see this. Is there such a thing as too much highlight? Like, too much pigment? Oh my god. Profusion. This is like, bam! I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it performs. I don't know if it's gonna last all day, but so far, so good. I'm just do the other side of my face so I don't look crazy. That was the Hypnotic Highlighter Palette by Pro Fusion. Love this. Definitely recommend it. Let me continue. Ooh, okay. So a lot of people ask me what I do with my hair. To be honest, 100% honest, this, main, this is mainly like water and get out the house. However, however, sometimes, especially in the summer when it's really, really hot, it, it's like eight shades crazy because it's poofy and all that stuff, so I need something to kind of tame it down. So this is what I do. I use Chi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but anyways, the Argan Oil Conditioner. So I know you're supposed to put conditioner on and then wash it off. What I do is that when I wash my hair, and I used the shampoo of this one too. When I wash my hair, uh, afterwards I let that I, I let that dry out a little bit. I know it sounds weird, but I let that dry out a little bit. And then I put my conditioner in my hair and I leave it in. I know it's not a leave-in conditioner, but I actually leave it in. And then um, after a while, a long while, I want to say like an hour. After <laughs> after an hour, I wash it out and then, boom. There you go. That's how I get these curls to stay kind of bouncy and kind of nice and looking halfway tamed. So this is my secret, guys. I absolutely love this. If you have curly hair, by all means, get this because it is just like, ugh. So this I had to pick up. This, by the way, goes for $10 in TJ Maxx. It retails for $22, so that is a steal for me. Next one up. Okay. So once again, if you follow me on Hush, you know that I already have this. I picked this up not too long ago, and when I went back today, they had one more left. And I was just like, you know what? Giveaway. So this is also going to be in the June giveaway. Now, in the back, it just has a little bit of a rip, like the packaging. But again, the inside is absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. And I will swatch the palette that I have so that you can get an idea of how pigment to the colors. So the packaging is really, really good. It's not cheap. It's sturdy. almost feels like a book. And then you open her up. Oh, open her up. You have the Lorac slip cover. I'm just going to put that to the side. And here you have it. The shades are absolutely beautiful in this palette. Now this right here is a kind of mini black eye pencil eyeliner right here. Very nice. By the way, this is the Lorac Los Angeles palette. I don't even think I mentioned that. It's a collab with the Disney Pirates of the Caribbean. So I'm going to go ahead and get some swatches for you guys from my palette so that I don't touch of this one because this one's for June's giveaway. Where's my palette? Here she is. Okay, so this one is my palette. I'm going to go ahead and show you Treasure right here. She's a very, very pretty color. You don't have to go too hard into it. Let me put this down for a second, actually. Here we go. This is Treasure. It's right here. Boom. Gorgeous. Let's do Sea Haze, this green color. Yes, right here. Here we go. Beautiful. Tell No Tales right here. It's a matte shade. Here we go. Pigmented. Boom. I love it. So that was sneak peek number two to the June giveaway. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to switch the boxes out so that the giveaway one has like a non-broken box. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, there we go. I want the winner to have like a better shaped box. It's bad enough that the prism one is all messed up, so. 
Yay! All right, so I'm gonna put that to the side. So this one is by Butter London. It is called the Blush Clutch. It is so cute. When I saw it, I was just like, okay, Butter London. Now here we go. These are the different uh, blush shades inside. It has a nice weight to it. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out so you guys can see how she looks. It's called $7.99. It comes with a little pamphlet. The pamphlet shows you uh, different ways to apply the blushes. So really, really cute. I'm going to put this down and open this up so you guys can see. Hold on. Like that. Uh, comes with a mirror. So beautiful. Here's the little slip cover. And there you go. So now you see three blushes. But this is a little stuck. This is also a blush. So this is a highlighter. It's called Rose Gold. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch these guys on my hand so we can see how they do. Now this is my first kind of Butter London um, product uh, other than like I think I have a lippy from them. But yeah, my first one. So excited. Ooh, feels really soft. Oh. Very pretty. I'm not sure if that's going to show up so much on me, but let's see. Yes, yes it does. Yes it does. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's kind of like, it has kind of gold underneath. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can totally see it. This is very, very pretty. I'm loving this. So, so pretty. Alright, next one. Is this like a bronzer? I feel like this color is more of a bronzer. Yeah, something like that. I can barely see it on my finger, but... Nope, shut up again. It's a blusher. I don't know why, but it through my eyes, it looks like a bronzer, but it's a blusher. It looks like that. Here we go. Alright, and the last one is right here. Here we go. Beautiful. It's like a softer pink. That's my peanut. He's sicky. There we go. I'm really in love with this one. This one is really, really, really pretty. The highlighter. Wait, so how does this work? Okay. So this is a sponge little pen. Inside of here is the highlight. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here. Huh, okay. Maybe I'm not doing this right. Okay, there you go. I wasn't doing it right, but yep, you can see it. It's like a little highlighter right here. Not sure if it applies the same on the face, but I can see that it's shiny right here. It's not like extremely blindy. I don't want to put anything more on my face. You know what? I'll put it on the nose. See what happens. All right, here we go. I'm honestly not even 100% sure if I'm using this right, but I'll read the pamphlet later to see if there's anything else like saying how to use it. But I can see it. It's like a subtle glow. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's definitely there. there. She's there. All right. It's not my favorite highlighter, but the blushes are pretty. That I do like. So once again, that was the Butter London Blush Clutch Palette. Very cute. I do like the way the blushes look on my arm. Moving along, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, the lippy, some of the lippies I bought. Here they are. Well, that's so hard to hold them. Ha! <laughs> Lipstick Queen. Now, I recently discovered her. I know I'm super late. But yeah, recently, recently discovered her and I loved, loved, loved it. So when I saw these shades, I was like, uh, gimme. So <laughs> I went ahead and bought some. So I'm going to go ahead and open them up. We're going to swatch them, all that good stuff. Not on my lips though because I'm just not, just not with it today. But I'll put them on my hand so you guys can see. We're going to start off with this shade right here. It's called Candy, is it? Candy Center. I'm sure that's the color itself, but we're going to find out right now. So, packaging looks like this. It's like a matte black. Feels nice. I'm going to open her up. 
wrapping her up and there she is. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna lower this just a little bit and I'm gonna swatch it on my hand right here. Wow. It feels so creamy. So, so creamy. Very opaque, very pigmented. Love it. I have Lips with Queen and I will say I love, love, love their products. It's the reason why she's called Lipstick Queen. Now, I've heard that for some people, when they use her products, they um, do break out a little bit. So I don't know if maybe there is something in here that causes an allergic reaction. But, of course, you won't know until you either read the ingredients or if you try it yourself. So that was Candy Center. Let's move along. This one is a really pretty packaging. It's called Ice Queen, I believe. Yes, Ice Queen. Well, not the right way, yes. Ice Queen. I'm going to open her up and see how she looks. Ooh. Packaging is a little different here. It has little details of icicles right along here. Of course, lips, Lipstick Queen on the cover. Ho, ho, ho. Nice. Okay. Oh, what's on my nail? Okay. This is my first white lipstick. Crazy. All right. Uh, I'm here for it. Let's try it. Oh, okay. It's not necessarily white. Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, okay, okay. Look, 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 look. That is so pretty. What are you? What? Are, what is this? Hold on. Doesn't even say. I would have to look this up. And my phone is dead. Fine. Oh. This is so pretty. This is like, oh my god, what is it? It doesn't, it's not tacky. So it's not like a lip gloss. It doesn't feel like a lip gloss. And it's like a lipstick, but not really. It's, kind of, it's like you took a lip gloss and a lipstick and put it in one. But it feels amazing. And look at that finish. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if this is a topper or if this is a lip by itself, but I'm really curious. Really, really pretty. My goodness. I was a little shook by that. Sorry. You guys saw me like go crazy just now, but that was whoa. Next one. Look at this cute little packaging. This one is called I don't even know because the price is covering it. Oh. Sometimes I hate TJ Maxx the way they put the stuff on. Oh, oh, there we go. It's called Queen B. And of course it has the Queen B right here. Very, very cute packaging. Cute that they did attention to details like that. Open her up. Ooh, oh, okay. This is, has like kind of like a metal kind of feel to it. Very pretty. It feels good. It has nice weight to it like the other ones. And voila. Ooh. This looks like it has glitters in it. Let me show you guys up close. Okay, I'm going to swatch her right now. See how she looks. Oh my goodness. That's just like Ice Queen. I wonder if this and the Ice Queen one was part of a line. Because this feels the same thing as the Ice Queen one. This one definitely feels like... A lip gloss but I like it I'm gonna move on to the next one this one is called Saint Candy hmm interesting this shade it looks similar whoa very very similar to Candy Sinner I'm gonna put them side to side Saint Candy is just a tad bit darker so we're gonna see how it looks Here we go in the gold packaging similar color it is darker off the back, you can tell it is a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch her. I'm going to put her mm, possibly next to. Can I put this next to? Yeah, put it right here. Okay. So Saint Candy and right next to Candy Center. So Candy Center and this is Saint Candy. This one's more glossy and this one's more like a lipstick cream. I like it. It's cute. I'm going to move on because this video is about to be like two hours long. This one is called Cool Gin. It has a really pretty packaging. Music notes. Ooh. Look at all that glitter. Yes. I live for that. Everything's better with glitter. Okay. Oh, okay. This is different. It's not like the other ones. 
Ooh, okay. Very, very pretty. All right, we're gonna see what's happening. What's happening with this one? Oh, okay. Ooh, oh my God, this is like a dual chrome lipstick. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has like pink and oh my God, it's like gold. I'm so curious to see how these perform on the lips, but I really can't because I gotta keep going. I gotta cook dinner. I gotta, you know, do other things. I do do other things other than, you know, make videos, guys. Each of them was $7.99, and uh, if you see one in TJ Maxx and you want to give it a shot, I think that you should. I think that it's totally worth it because I really do enjoy, you know, her line. The next one up is the MAC Pro Beyond Twisted Lash Mascara Volume ET. This retails for $22. It was $12.99 in TJ Maxx. Ooh. Very pretty. Look at this. Love it. Twisted Lash. And by the way, this is in shade Twisted Black. Okay. Open her up. Ooh. It feels good. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> okay. Oh. So I'm going to show you guys the wand. The spoolie itself looks like this. So I can't apply this to my eye because I already have mascara on. I didn't know that I was going to find a mascara there. Otherwise, I probably should have just, you know, maybe washed everything off when I got home. But yeah, uh, just so that you know, this bends. Like, the actual wand itself bends everywhere, which is probably why they call it twisted. Oh, ugh, got some stuff on my... That's okay. But yeah, it bends, it conforms. I guess if you want, you could apply it like this. I wouldn't, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Uh, that's pretty cool, pretty neat. I think what I'll do is that I'm going to post a review on this on my Instagram. If you don't have my Instagram, I'm going to put it right here. It's called Chrismal Beauty. And uh, you guys can go ahead and see what are my thoughts on this. But for now, I'm going to put this away. It's a funky little one. I will say that much. I've never seen a one like that before. And I did get a second one. So there's two here. One is for me. This is the one I opened, so I'll pick that one. And this one is going to go towards June's giveaway. So, so far, we have two palettes and a mascara for June's giveaway. The next thing I got was honestly an impulse buy. <laughs> I was in the aisle. If you saw my uh, TJ Maxx uh, haul video, you already know what happens. But I literally got distracted because it was so pretty. It's mermaids and it's glitter and I'm a sucker for that. Obviously, I don't know if you can see that Ariel's behind me on my wall. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm getting it. I don't even care if it stinks. And it doesn't. But uh, yeah, it's a lotion. It is closed. But it was $2.99 and it's called Sugar Candy. Oh, Sugar Candy Scented. So you know what? I am going to see if it's scented. Just a little bit. I don't smell like. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's candy scented, but it smells like. It smells good. It to me it smells more like a regular lotion. Like I'm not really smelling a candy. But it feels really nice. It makes my skin feel really like soft and creamy. So yeah, I kind of like it. Kind of sad it's not really sugar candy scented. I'm not smelling that at all. But it's still cute and I love the packaging so I'm not even mad about it. $2.99. I don't care. YOLO. Live without any regrets. Alright, cool. Next one up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. I found this in, of course, TJ Maxx. But it didn't have a box, so I was a little sad. The cashier did reduce the price for me because it didn't come in a box. She gave this to me for, you ready for this? $15. $15. It's brand new. Like, when you rip this off, it's, like, all good and, and dandy. I'm going to open this up. Let's see? Ah, look how beautiful that is. Gorgeousness. Scraping tool right here to scrape out the colors. If you want to mix it up, you totally can. And uh, yeah, you have your primary colors down here, along with the black and white, and then a bunch of other colors. This is like an endless, endless, endless like lip collection because you can just make so many different shades. Now I'm not gonna swatch this because guess what? It's going into June's 
giveaway. So yay, if you have no idea what this looks like, I would just recommend typing it into YouTube. Type in the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lip palette and you'll see a bunch of reviews, trust me. Always barking, legit. Next thing I found, I was like, oh my gosh, this cannot be here. Like, this cannot be real. It is the Kevin O'Connell Matte Lipstick. Here he is up close. And guess what? $11. I could not believe it. See, Kevin O'Connell is a high-end brand. And I was just like, whoa. I did check to see if it was sealed. It was sealed. I already opened this because I couldn't wait. But yes, this is the packaging. It has like a little kind of ombre looking thing i don't know if you guys can see it but up here is like a burgundy while the rest is black it's very pretty with his name of course on it i'm gonna open this up Ooh, look at that shade stunning stunning absolutely beautiful i'm gonna put this on my arm hands excuse me see how before Oh my god. Okay, so whew, I got thoughts. It feels really creamy and um Oh my god. Oh, it smells so yummy. It smells like candy. What this should have smelled like. This smells like. Oh my god, that smells so great. It almost reminds me of a candy necklace, and I was obsessed with those, so living for the Oh, it smells so Sorry, I'm obsessed, obsessed with the smell. This is absolutely stunning. It feels really creamy. It's definitely pigmented, and it feels so smooth. So, really excited about this guy. Can't wait to try him. Next up, I have this Stila Stay All Day Magnificent Lipstick. This was $5.99, retails for $10. It is in shade Bordox. Bordox? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's like that. It's a burgundy deep shade, which honestly isn't my shade, but I'm trying to like venture out and try new things. Ooh, this is pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. Open her up. Yep, definitely a deep shade. Not used to it. Not used to it at all. Hold on. I'm just going to swatch this right quick. Wow. Wow. I just finished swatching like two other brands on my hand this one it was like one swipe there the other ones I was like going like this for it to show up but this one was whew. this doesn't feel heavy at all on my hand it's super creamy extremely pigmented let me bring it up I forgot to bring it up sorry about that I'm a little afraid to put this on my lips because it's so dark but again I'm trying to break out out of that shell I'm going to like try new colors on my lips I'm not kidding guys I really am I think Chris needs to just put on a big girl pants and try new things all right All right, guys, well, that's enough of that. And I'm going to tell you right now, this highlighter has been on my face for a while because, like I said, my camera died, so I let it charge for a while. It's not nighttime, and look at this. Like, that is some serious glow. All right, guys, before we say goodbye, I just want to show you what I do with my lip drawer. You guys remember how it looked before, and this is now the after. I wish I can, like, pull out the whole lip drawer so you can see all the way back there. But I have everything organized now in a little section. It feels so much better. I love this little organizer. It definitely helped my life. Thank you again for watching. Look out for more videos to come. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.